a very uh, convincing technique to show that uh, the area in front of the camera lens is disrupted in such a way that whatever might have been there would have to be moved away uh, so that it could not possibly still be on film in the uh, same direction that it was being filmed before the feather duster was moved about. So that's a technique that I use as well, and I have that on film. And so those are some of the techniques, or at least two of them, that show that the orb zone is not the only place or the only interpretation for what I consider to be orbiculars that are far beyond and outside of the orb zone.